Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Drama Dynamics. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And in today's episode, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to do some more work to the Escort. Yes. Today is a very exciting episode. We have finally got 80% of the four-wheel drive system here. Yep, definitely. We just need a gearbox and subframe, which we're still trying to source, by the way. Because I need a 1.8 turbo quattro gearbox, and I need a subframe that's off an Audi A3 that mounts to all the 2.4 stuff. Yeah. It's all relatively the same. It just, yeah. I'm just trying to find bits and bobs, but not struggling. I'm just not really looking too hard at the moment. I'm, you know, large stuff and that. But I will do. Now, once we start it, I'll get it. Don't worry. But we actually have the actual hold deck system in front of us. And I don't rear, know what we'll it, have the rear deck. People you know, hold it. Yeah, rear diff. We have the rear diff system. We have the, the rear subframe, the diff, and everything here. So we can start mounting that. I know some people may say, oh, you need angles and stuff on the rear drive shaft i will do that when we come to mount the front because the engine's either going to have to be done be lower or higher depending on the situation but the rear subframe can go in as long as there's enough room i don't mind having to chop part of the car out to make the transmission tunnel or gearbox tunnel bigger or wider that i can modify all that rel relatively it's not a massive issue it's just yeah i can modify the rest of it from the engine side and the gearbox side so that's where my logic's at it's the first time I'm doing this stuff, so I'm learning. Whatever he just said. I'm so learning. learning about it. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> we'll show you the diff system and the front suspension, which we've offered up and is not that far away. Which is really good news, to be fair, because it might save us a lot of time and headaches. Yeah. Still think we might have to notch the um, top mounts a little bit. No, not the top mounts. I'm on about the, the, sh the front chassis, which is not the end of the world. The chassis legs. But we're waffling. I reckon we should crack on and show them what we've got. Yeah, let's go, boys. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> On the right, we still have a little bit of strippings to do. So, yeah, we need still need to get all the brake lines now because I'm not using ABS in this car. It's going to be manual. If I need to do ABS, there's kits and stuff. This kit, do. ABS kits that you can use that we can plug into the ECU, whatever ECU I decide to use and whatnot. So, again, that's later on down the line. We don't need to think about this stuff now. At the minute, it's fabrication, cutting. And, but, yeah, we still need to finish stripping that. Right, my plan with this... Hopefully, the engine will sit ha, and the gearbox will sit ha. Mm. So, it's got two ports on it. I'm hoping, because this is a clutch wire, I'm hoping, now I'm looking at it, it might not work, because I need one for a clutch for the gearbox. So what he's saying is he needs another feed off the actual Sort of, server. unless, because we're not having ABS, or you I can, can utilize just use that one, one port off and then T, T it off so I can have come off, T, two to the rear, T it again, then they go off, you know, so it's on one line and then have that for the clutch. Yeah. So that's the plan with that. So I'm hoping we can keep this servo if needed. We will, again, subject to change at all times unless people come up with better solutions. If not, then we're going to have to go pedal box under the car, get a wheel wheel pedal box. So your clutch is separate to everything and your brakes are off the little pots underneath the steering wheel yep. i've got to strip most of the wiring out of this car anyway and go through it so when we come to that though we'll get to it and i'm gonna have a, a solid state uh, fuse in here so i can just have the power going in and then a little computer that does everything that i need to do with a little switchboard so that's the plan with this car what he said um and then michael show them but you've seen this on the trailer before but now you've got a bit of a look at it Just a random what this If you're new to the channel, this is out of an RS. Uh, no, it's an S3. Oh, an S3. Okay. S3. So yeah, this is an S3. It's still pretty badass though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, RS stuff's stupid money. I couldn't afford yeah. that. You don't need it. The car weighs nothing. I could pick it up right now. <laughs> um, and then obviously we've got the front stuff. I know it looks rusty and stuff, but don't worry about that for now. It. It's serving a purpose for mock-up. Everything's going to get painted. We're just going to want to get it painted, fitted and make sure it fits properly. Powder coated, yeah, painted, whatever. It'll all get sorted. A lot of it's aluminium, so it'll just get a clear coat lacquer on it. So I'm not, I don't need to paint it. I just need to clean it and lacquer it. So yeah. even then, you don't really need to do that. You just 
once it's under the car, I'm never going to bother with it. So, you know, as long as the arms are not look good and whatever to the rest. Yeah. <laughs> the car will look nice anyway, regardless. Um, but yeah, so we're going to finish off doing our little bits. So we just need to pull all these lines and that out, Mike. And yeah, and then, and then we're doing choppy choppy. I'm hoping Bobby, bye, to, bye, well, bye. we need to strip this down so it's lighter because it's just too heavy to manhandle at the moment. We need to get the diff out of it because I don't need that at the moment to get location yeah. in the boot. And I'm going to strip these cups off the uh, torsion bars. I don't really necessarily need them, but I'll in implement them. I can come up with a better solution for that. I can fabricate something that's a little bit more simple than what Audi have done. So these are a little bit too big. So I can modify these. It just needs a cup over the top just so it can, you know, do its torsion -y things. But we'll sort that out as and when we get to it. Yeah. I can sleep on these ideas, but yeah, we're gonna start stripping the rest of this stuff out, get the brake lines out, fuel lines out, all the other little bits and bobs that we don't really need now, because we'll redo it all. And then we'll strip this down so it's lighter to manhandle. Yeah. So it actually becomes a two-man job. Yeah. Because at the minute it's, uh, a two-man job but you're about to get a prolapse and a hernia yeah and we don't need any of that right now <laughs> right then. sound if they have to then yeah they do. bendy bendy more like <laughs> that's one way of doing it i guess Right, is that the throttle cable? Yeah. Just minimise it for now. I, I need to put it all out. We need to strip the dash of that out at some point. So once we start doing, start doing bits, we can, we can do the majority of this when it comes to assembling and not assembling, but getting the engine to fit. So, yeah. But I'll, again, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this, but because this is actually a great location for this will work. But uh, even if I have to modify this to make a golf one or an Audi one fit then that's what I'll do because this bar is perfect because you know the way it works I mean we can look into the pedal box but they're expensive and if we end up spending money on that sort of stuff then you know it's other things have to, to yeah, give, it, yeah things will either take longer to, to do on the project and you know I want to try and keep motivation going constantly so if there's little bits that we can do to, you know it's either to make an episode or just get bits done then that's what we shall do you know, a lot of this is going to get chopped. You know, I'll make a little plate for this with some vents in, you know. I want to get some dimpled eyes and, you know, I just want to strip this all out and make it look nice. But I can't strip it all out until, realistically, we've done everything we need to do. So, but yeah, we'll just strip all these lines out for now. And then they can go. So.
sway bar. Yeah, had to take all this off because we don't need all of it at the moment. We just need it's a lot of weight, isn't it? Yeah, we just need the mounting points for the temporary. And plus, to be fair, this is probably overkill for the. So there's probably other op aftermarket options that we can use for the Escort. Yeah. Probably more slimline versions. You know, I don't know what paint space can jump out. Know. Bearing in mind, this is rusty. So if you're doing any of this at your house yourself, take your time, have nut and bolt sex with loads of lube, you'll be fine. Everyone loves lube. Yeah, just keep running the bolts in. Uh, it just saves having to deal with snap bolts and stuff. It just makes your day. Well, whilst, you, whilst they were doing that, I removed yes. all the lines from the rear yeah, of the car. Yeah, no, just got to remove the stuff, but that's inside the car, so yeah, we're not dealing with that. At next the is my, my favorite bit, it's choppy choppy, Jay. Well, we're going to offer you offer up first. Yeah, but then we're choppy choppy. Yeah. Well, as you can see on there, we've got YouTube sponsor. It's a bit of a permanent fixture now. But yeah, so this is basically now the perfect shell to now offer up to the car and see where. We see need what's to be. what. Yeah, we need to be. You know, we've left the suspension so we can see where the wheels are going to be. And then obviously, once we've got springs, I've got the shock so we can mount that up later on. Because on this car, it's a wheel and shock yes. combo on the rear, yeah. not a spring and shock. So we might have to modify the rear to suit this or see if we can modify these to suit that, which might be the better option to modify that. That's, yeah. But we just have to see where those pickup lines come. So obviously we're going to have shafts come through there. So it's just a lot of finagling. Because if I can get the escort shocks... Say that word again. A lot of finagling. finagling. <laughs> Tinkering and moving, <laughs> massaging, <laughs> it's a mixture word. But yeah, so Mike, should we? Uh, should we offer it up? Oh, we've got to stick two bolts for it. Stick it from. Yeah. All right. But yeah, right. we'll stick some bolts in and then. The yam, time lapse. Yam be with ya. Whereabouts are you? Because my my hub is like. Flush with the wheel arch. You might can come over a bit then. About there. Mine's about an inch in. Well, I need to do some measurements anyway. But do you know what the worst thing is? I'm going to have to make no cuts at all. I'm going to have to cut the boot floor out and that's it because this lines up perfectly with them. Oh, I'll stop notice. it, Jay. It does. It does look like it's. It fits perfectly to this. So all I've got to do is cut it open, cage nut it, and then. You, guys, you heard it here first. I wanted to repeat that, Jay. I might have to make some shims, you know, yeah. like some, some block offs, but it's so actual. Actually, point to the viewers what you know about Basically, that's a subframe mount there. Yep. And that's a subframe mount. And yep. what's there? I'm going to guess what I've done to say a subframe. The mount. rear chassis leg, which is what we want to make and bolt to, so there's not much fabrication work needed. Might have to cut that brace out there and then yep. move it. But this is definitely going to come out way now. I'll build something on here to bolt this to. Yeah. Because this is. Yeah, you will do it. You have to pack this out a bit. Um, the only other thing that we might have to modify is the, you know, that, that thing that we took off here. But yeah. Ford already had a similar system in place. That's what they are. It's just a stabilizing bar for the torsion. So we can build our own if we wanted to. That's what I mean. Everything lines up. And the actual width is perfect as well. I feel sick. I don't feel sick. I uh, know you don't. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> we don't need to cut the whole boot floor out. It's just that this is protruding, yeah. obviously, where the diff's going to go. So realistically, we just need to cut the outer edge of that. So I'm going to put the disc in like that and just... Ooh. See you later, son. Let's get choppy choppy. Writing death letters right now to you. You're, you're done, mate. Michael. Oh, hello, Diff. I just cut a big hole in the car. You cut a really big hole in the car. Cut it really <laughs> fast. What are you saying? That's centralising. It's just that's wicked. The thing is, you're gonna have to build these off centre. 
Because this is not, I'm not centered on this channel anymore, are you? No, I'm not. Just off the end. Yeah, so it's about it's about half half it's there. That's if you put, stick your finger in the hole. Stick your finger in the hole, Dad, and put your knuckle in there. There you go. Yeah, the, the, it's just on the corner. Yeah. And I'm pretty much centre. I could probably come this way a smidge. Where's your centre point? Let's watch it because it's not on the jack properly. Because it's moved it forward. That's fine. But yeah, the mounting point is going to be here on this chassis leg here. Yeah. Which and is the, good. The movement's brilliant because there's a cutout just there ready for the. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you might end up having to slim that that beam down there. You know, cut it out and then plate it. But apart from that, it's just making some boxes to go around there. Some boxes to go around there. It's just going to be work, working out. Trimming that out. Working out your heights and stuff. Because, you see, you, the problem you've got is it's definitely this. For your shocks, because there, this is going to get in the way. No, I haven't got a problem with shocks. That's where the springs go. Yeah. So you well, put, that's a, spring, that's the put a spring cup there and a spring cup there. Here? Yeah, you spring there to there. Off the body, and then your shocks go here, Dad. On that little nub that sticks out. Yeah. No, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the shocks there. Boom, straight up. Well, you don't put coilovers on them. You can do. You get, yeah, but the coil they'll have a little stop on the actual spring that you... Well, you doing. normally, on rear coilovers, unless it's coil on spring, but I mean, we can just do lowering springs or springs in general with a cup at the top here, because there's, you know... So we'll have to get a cup on here. Yeah, just you just make a, you get a, buy a spring cup. Not the focus, the focus, not the focus. It's got. Yeah, it's just a spring cup at the top. Like what's already on the Audis, I can get some re soon because I've got that Audi that's breaking in at the minute, haven't I? Yeah, so it's just getting this, getting this squared up and getting, working out. Obviously, we're going to have to get it jacked in place one day and then, you know, wiggle it around and see we're absolutely fucking perfect and sure that it's going to be where it's supposed to be. And then it's going to be working out how you're going to, what are you going to put on here to mount this so you can mount this to this and well, it's just box section really just i'll make some boxes some some thick steel box um and then just obviously take up take that out and then just put that to the chassis or cup this if you know what i mean build over the top of it drill a hole all the way through with a crush washer and, and then, then maybe have can, depends then, how big the bolts are going to be i could put the put the bolts in the boot and just weld them well, you weld them into the box and just put weld the, weld the nuts in there. In the box. Make yeah. sure you just paint it all up so it doesn't it won't rust. Mm. Won't be no there. Well, there's loads of little like nibs and stuff we need to take off and brackets and yeah. Once this is in place, we can like this bit here, Dad. I just need to, to trim that out. Yeah, trim that out there where this sits, just so it's got clearance. It's not sticking out on me. You've got a pin sticking out on the outside. Yeah, it's probably for some random shit. Oh, they're here. No, on the inside, but you know. Exhaust hanger. That can be removed because I've got the exhaust hanger on the thing now. That's launched straight up as well. Eh? Hey? It's launched straight up with the mudder. That's what I mean. I don't. It's not modif mod not much modification needed, really. Well, yeah, because the exhaust comes out this side, so you might as well just take it out this side. Yeah. Well, I will do. This is easier than what I thought. I was expecting don't, lots of chopping. Don't count your chickens just No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like I say, it is going to be a wide old girl, though. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? I think that fits really well, doesn't it? I know it's not, I know it's rough fit, but a rough fit is the rough guess of what's going on. And I mean, if you look at the diameter of the wheel arch, everything. Yeah, it needs to come forward a little bit, but again, we've not measured anything. It's just a rough eye-to-eye -eye guess, and nothing's been fabricated yet. But if you look at all the mounts underneath as well... Yeah, they've already seen it shown yeah, them that, that, so... I mean, all the mounts seem like they're going to be relatively easy. There's plenty of clearance around everything else. The trans uh, well, the gearbox tunnel is perfect. So, it's, you know, I mean, if you look down here as well, if you look down there, Mike, the, you can get a suspension point straight there. Yeah, the suspension points are there. 
so I can get a shock to go straight up. So yeah. if I wanted to, I could do coilovers and eliminate that and make that an adjustable beam. You know, just cut the cups out of it and making it an adjustable beam. It's good. Easy. I say easy. Like, like he says it very lightly. So. Very lightly. There's obviously going to be issues and stuff that we've underseen and stuff like that, but mounting this and making platforms for it is going to be okay. It's not going to be the hardest headache. part. You know, now I'm thinking, where's the headache going to be? Is it going to be at the front end, more than likely? Which is why I... I don't know about that. So let's, let's show them how close they were. Because you said earlier we were going to show them how, how close it was with the front shocks and spring. Oh, yeah. Lift up from the other way. Got any hands and knees, Butch? Just this cup. That. Right. I mean, oh, there's yeah. one hole there. If I twist, oh, there, there's two holes there. Yeah, well, there's two holes. But again, plate with the new holes. Yep. Boom. But yeah, there's one hole there. There's another hole there. You can see how just slightly off they are. Look, they're just so, like all holes need reaming a little bit, but it's pretty much there. So what, what need, is this? I need this smaller is not shocks though. Sub... I, need, I definitely need smaller shocks. So coilovers yeah. are probably going to be the way to go with Only this. way to go with it, yeah. But again, the way the Ford mounts is in a hub like this. Yes. So if I could, put... the diameter of this is massive, yeah? Yeah. The Ford ones are quite narrow. So I haven't got a, I haven't got a problem with bolting them in and then putting that in that hub and getting a, a, a shim that it sits in with a slit in. So when you compress it all, the whole thing compresses together like a normal suspension. Yeah. So if I wanted to, I could get shims made for the, the hubs and then weld them in. Weld the shims in so they don't ever come out. So when we compress with this rear bolt, yeah. it all clamps together. Yeah. So realistically, I could use front shocks and springs off the Escort. If I wanted to, I could use the rear shocks and springs off the Escort and mount them to that because of where that lies. Yeah. Let me grab one with me. Sick. Blue off. Set. Okay, that goes there, yeah? Well, it has to get to there. That <laughs> is the suspension. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It's fine. But yeah, that's the suspension. But that's... You see what I mean? Yeah. See right, so all I've got to do at the top, realistically, what have I got to do at the top? Look at that, the angle, Dad. Look at that. What have I got to do? Make that plate go like that. No, just, just, make, it just make the plate go at a different degree of angle, which shouldn't upset the suspension realistically as long as it's sitting flat. Because all I've got to do instead, because that's the mounting point, it wants to sit like that. Well, all I want it to do is go like that a little bit. So if I change the degree of the plate at the top, not a massive work. And I've retained factory points. Some purity. Some purity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, just to recap, in case everything got a bit muddled. Wow, so we can, because I was getting excited and talking. So, what we're going to do is, these have got to go up a little bit more. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to cut the chassis both sides there. And, and reinforce and it. And reinforce it, this. So, this tucks up, because obviously, the way the, the Audi design these is perfect for what we need, you know. I can't really argue with that because it tucks up into the chassis. So that's we haven't got no clearance and issues with the suspension. Everything should fit. Yeah, it's not centre and it's not the right depth because this is a little bit further over this way. But from what I'm seeing is there's a, a strengthening bar that goes up the back of the where the, the subframe's gonna mount. So yep. I need to take that out and basically build a new one on top inside the car. So we've so we still got the rigidity. Rigidity. We've still got the rigidity. Um, and we can do other things like obviously oh, this car is gonna be caged, so I can use that as it, well, brace needs, points it needs to for the cage now, and stuff it? like that. Yeah, well it's I'm sorry, cutting a hole in the floor isn't that bad. I mean there's not that much cutting on this car. It's but I'd just rather stiffen the car for what its purposes are. The other day it's a road legal track car. I want to be able to stroll on the road. Yeah. It'll upset some people, you know how it is. Smoke out of TTs and stuff. Um right, for this, because this now is redundant. 
Hey, well, in case, well, I'm sure you saw it, but yeah, it's a standard, this point standard here and actually that. fits up to there. Actually, really well. Look, really, 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 really well. well. So we've got to modify the top of this, but we can keep the board suspension all the way around. Yeah. It's a few little modifications, like we've got to make a shim that goes in the top of that hub. Yeah. But if I make the shim correctly, with the lines and weld it in, then that's a hub for life. Unless I smash it, get another one, and do the same shim again. But yeah. it's not a massive problem. It's just. A bit of metal that'll tuck in with the lip on it and then we'll weld it on and then when we come to put the suspension in it should just slide in put the bolt through and it'll be as normal basically so it'll be ford to aldi yeah but it keeps the factory suspension yeah we might have to get just like different shocks made for different lengths depending on where subframes and stuff are going to go but we can cross that bridge when we get to it because ideally we want all this flat when we come to do it and at the moment the way this is sitting which is still a little bit too low the actual suspension will pull this up and make it flat yeah. but well, it, well until we I cut adjust, that i can adjust the height from this end as long as this goes in the right place yeah i can make the suspension travel and the way this sits correctly right oh for this as well these we, this is now redundant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a an adjustable arm i'm going to build an adjustable arm for here because obviously this adjusts toe and if we're going to be going to the track and I want to just tow and stuff like that, you know, um, this, this is just where this goes, you know. The camber, again, we can make camber plates for the top. So if I do decide to change the suspension, we can make a camber plate for the top. That's not going to be a problem. So if I want more camber, more tow, realistically for adjustability, I don't really need much more. It's not, I'm not a serious race car driver, so and it's not going to be entered in any race car series, so what's the point in going too mad? No. Realistically, you want camber and toe to adjust if you want a little bit more grip, yep. or you want a little less grip, or you know, if you're going on the road, you want it to not wear your tyres out as fast, you just adjust the toe and camber, you know, yeah, yeah, basically. That's that's from factory, that's what you get anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to build a, a fork style into a bush, because we've got a bush up that end, and then a fork style end here, because there's a bush on the bottom of here, with an adjustable point in the middle. So, but no, it's all, it's all working out really well so far. Yeah, I mean, look, this needs to go over that way, and you know, but yeah, I mean, we can make pickup points off the chassis legs, um, get rid of a few bits. There's a like I say, there's a brace that's across there that needs to go, that'll tuck up a bit further. Um, I'll go until this hits the, the body, and then I'll put something in there, then like, um, probably a five pit, five mil bit of steel just that's the shim then so I don't want it to touch the body but I want it as close as I can so I'll shim it to five mil and then we'll level all this out and then we can start cutting and grinding and doing what we need to do um, but yeah I need to order some steel um, some plate steel so we can start making the um, pedestals for the order the cage bolts as well order the bolts so I need steel cage bolts I need so I don't know if that door is going to slam shut. It's been a bit of forest, so. I ain't got the keys either. It's all good, right. But I will catch you in the garage. So guys, if you've stayed this far, I uh, really appreciate it if you give us a sub. Um, like if you like the video and comment on how you think we're doing. But I think we're doing a really good job. Well, today it may, it may not look like we've done a lot because realistically the sub rear subframe took a lot longer to strip than what it said. But again, old bolts, rusty bolts, you know, just take your time with it, lubricate it, run, do nut and bolt sex if you have to, you know, it's fine. Um, but it's either that, spend the, the time to strip it properly or spend hours trying to extract broken bolts. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, just do it right, do it, do it clean, do it right and you should be forward. But... I mean, we've cut the rear boot out of the floor now. We've offered it up. We've done a lot of talking, a lot of mocking, a lot of adjusting, just to see, you know, this is the part of the, the stage of the build now where it's a lot of thinking more than anything. Yeah, we, can't, know, we can't rush this part. We it can't has, it just to throw be it in properly. because I don't want to have to start making adjustable arms for everything, but for my cockle, basically, because I didn't measure correctly. So yeah. at the minute, we're eyeballing everything, and the next episode, we will start doing everything properly. We're going to start making sure the car's level, the rear diff's level, we'll start cutting the rest of the stuff out that needs cutting out for clearance mm -hmm. in, and then we'll start making pedestals. So I'm hoping in the next episode that we will have the rear subframe mounted and that we can actually put the suspension on to stiffen it up and put it on you know the rear wheels on hopefully just in case you're wondering jay's going to work from the 
the back to the front because he wants to get the back all bolted up and then sort the front out afterwards. It's, the front's going to be a lot more complicated. There's a lot yeah. more fabrication involved in the sense of like, I don't know, I, until I get a subframe, I can't mount the engine go. and you, you know, it's a, you know, I don't know about engine mounts and stuff like that. You know, it's a lot of un, unhinged factors, but the rear end seems like it's going to be the fastest thing to do first to keep the project going and alive. And then gives me time to work out what I need to do there, you know, so. Again, with stuff like this, I'm not cutting the body off a car and then welding it to the next car like a lot of other people have done with similar projects. Uh, you know, I've had someone say to me, oh, it's going to be a lot easier if you do that. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to retain as much Ford as I can because I just want to make it Ford Well, it'd be a Ford. shame because the, the, the body of this car is actually in really good condition. It'd be a shame just to chop it all off. It's, it's better than yeah. most. It's better than most. You know, I know there's scabby rust patches places. It's starting to do... surface. Though, it? Yeah, it's not rotten, though. It's all by any stretch of the imagination. It's all very serviceable now. If we, We've caught it early so we can uh, rectify it. You know, there's a, a lot of work to be done on this car over the next... I'm going to say yeah. Another thing as well is just, we could do it the way Joseph said, but you get. I think we get more satisfaction than the way we're going to do it. Because there's I a think... lot more thinking to it. There's a lot. It's not just a case of just whacking the body on. Like I said, we've now got to cut chassis rails and put pedestals on. Like I said, I think yeah. personally, it, it's personal preference. If you want to go down that route, then then fine. But I personally want to show my ability as a fabricator and car builder the way I want to do it. So. Again, it's it's nothing nothing bad as, uh, bad to say against the next guy that's doing that. Well, it's yeah, not the no, easiest yeah, it's option. Not. It's not an easy option. It is still hard work, but yeah. I'm choosing to go down my route. You know, everybody has different ideas and opinions. But let's not digress. This is it's an exciting day. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm happy yeah. with the <laughs> I'm results of today. Like it. I was expecting a lot of more cutting, a lot more welding, and a lot more bracing and stuff like that. But this is honestly, as soon as you put it up and, they, and there's both of those rear subframe bolts, well, the rear subframe hit the chassis rail, you're like, oh my god, this, this is just... not that much work yeah. realistically to get this mounted. And the, and the way the diff lines up with the the tunnel that's already in the car because they did do four wheel drive versions of these cars, but they were poo. So, you know. Oh, we need a name for the car as well. Yeah. DJ Khan. So in the comments below, tell us what you think you should call it. I'm thinking Escort Quattro GTI because it's yeah. a GTI engine. Well, it's a Golf GTI yeah, that they, the engine came out of. It's a GTI car. It's a GTI car. It's having a Quattro system put in it and it's an Escort. So, but I'm sure you creative buggers will find something to uh, amuse yourselves with. So, yeah. Can we call this a build now? Yeah. Part one of the official build. It's officially a build now. It's, officially a build. it's no more stripping. I know we started off the episode on stripping, but we had to do that because there was no way we were lifting that. That subframe, that rear end was heavy. That dip's heavy. Yeah. Like, there's no way on this earth that we were doing that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the only thing we got to look into as well. Yeah, I'm saying suspension wise that we're going to use the escort suspension, but everything is either going to be heavier or the same amount. So I need to. We need to properly think about it. Yeah, so obviously I need to, my, my need to change spring rates, shock lamps, and stuff like that. But I have a rough idea now. Where to go? So, you know, I I can I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to use the escort stuff. If I have to cut the top of this top mount off and replace a new with a new shock and system or whatever, so be it. But this is all trial and error. But yeah, I'd like, comment, should. subscribe, yeah. share, tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your dad. Tell, tell everyone your a quattro is going inside the escort, and it's gonna be a monster in a few years' time. <laughs> Peace <laughs> out. Yeah, take it easy.